So I just popped into the allotment for a few minutes and I uh, thought I'd give you a quick tour while it's quiet and not too windy. So state of the allotment's quite interesting because we're just in that transition period, just starting to take out the summer stuff. That's a process that will continue now over the next month and, uh, and then we'll be all replanted for autumn, winter and a few little bits and pieces for spring. So let's take a look. So I'm working my way through my autumn compost. Always very woody as always, but uh, seems to do the trick. Brussels, so, I mean, they're doing okay. Reasonably pleased. I mean, I don't want to eat them for a long time, so plenty of time for them still to grow. But uh, yeah, they're all in pretty good condition and they're pretty big plants. So uh, should get a pretty nice harvest off these. Working my way through my uh, autumn and early winter beets. Some of these ones are pretty big now and that's good because uh, I'm gonna start filling the store up soon. Normally get the, well definitely get this bed cleared um, by early October and get it replanted. Uh, leeks here for winter. Not a huge amount but enough to keep us going. Uh, all the squash on all these trellises, these have all been harvested now and uh, they're all going to go in for curing in the conservatory next week when it cools down just the touch. It's really hot in there at the moment. Yakon is doing quite nicely. I'm really pleased with the yakon this year. We've got the yakon in tubs as well uh, back in the kitchen garden. Obviously way smaller. And I think the yield will be smaller, but I did want some smaller yakon tubers because I suspect these will be huge. And that's fine when you want a lot of yakon, but when you just want enough for a single meal or something, uh, it's nice to have some smaller tubers. And hoping to just put yakon back in this bed again next year. Uh, gooseberries, of course, have lost all the leaves to the sawfly. I've just, uh, well, about 10 days ago, I think, uh, popped these lettuces in and that spinach in down there it's all settled in really nicely so uh, yeah i'm quite excited for this crop lots of my favorite varieties here uh, so th these are the lettuce we'll be eating um, in sort of november early december sort of time and i'll probably get this bed and this bed down here all replanted uh, with spring crops carrots here these are the uh, winter and the spring carrots and it's interesting to see you know that you can see where the shady tree is you know look how this is being pushed up here and uh, nowhere near as high there that's uh, it's a big it is a big tree and it's pretty dense a few brassicas still to harvest here we've got one calabrese one cauliflower uh, some cabbages for winter, uh, purple spray and broccoli for early spring and late spring. This bed's just been cleared, it was melons and it's not replanted yet. That bed's been cleared, it's not been replanted yet. That bed's been cleared, it's not been replanted yet. All these were melons. And uh, this bed here is radish and turnips and it's looking really nice actually and all of this is going to be spinach and that is going to be lettuce pretty soon Let's step through here um, this bed doesn't uh, this is radicchio it doesn't need a cover obviously but uh, I, I haven't got anywhere to store the covers and so this bed was melons so pops radicchio in it's growing really strongly. Um, I'll probably leave the cover on. I'm not 100% sure. I'll probably will leave it on. Um, yeah, I'm just about to, in a few weeks time, take this asparagus down. I don't leave my asparagus forever because it get, it starts shading beds. Well, it's shading beds now. Um, so I take it out by the middle of October. Um, Blueberries, still a few blueberries. <laughs> still loads and loads of peppers. So I've got three pepper beds. This is the first one. 
and we've got one over there and one over there and they're all looking really nice it's taken so many peppers our freezer is full now of all the crops and we've put a lot of peppers in the freezer so we'll just be eating fresh from these beds and because we've got so many of them i can start clearing these beds and getting them replanted as we move through october just taking this lettuce bed out in fact i'm taking this whole bed out and kind of extending my sort of seating and table area sort of entertaining space uh, down here and i will eventually sort of take it all the way along here when i take this asparagus out in a few years time so beans kind of partly sort of fed up of beans and also just can't keep up with the harvest of them and we don't like them frozen so uh, we only eat them fresh and yeah tomatoes there actually a lot of tomatoes on these outdoor plants whether i'll ever get them ripened i'm not really sure but there's certainly a lot uh, still to come these are the summer carrots virtually finished these are the autumn carrots still plenty to go these are the beets that we're going to be eating well all the way through until well normally the end of the year really and then we switch over to the ones that are in store squash out so these are spring leeks here some salad onions uh, second early strawberries yeah these peppers taking these squash out got some asian greens down here and these are the lattice we're currently eating they're looking beautiful strawberries we're currently eating immature squash there that we're currently eating and that is it apart from one bed that i missed which is all salad onions which is down here and uh, those should keep us going till the end of the year and i'm planting more obviously to keep us going all year round so let's have a look in the polytunnel a few more outdoor tomatoes here these are looking pretty good i think there's a better chance of getting these to ripen because uh, these are blight resistant ones and yeah still picking and picking and picking the tomatoes i'm pretty hopeful actually i cleared this uh tunnel in early uh october i'm pretty confident i'm going to get most of these trusses ripened you know so they're starting to oops, they're starting to ripen even at the top here so yeah i'm i'm fairly confident you know all these are starting to ripen now all these up here are, are ripening so uh yeah and, and we've made so much sauce already that uh, we're almost at the point where we don't need any more so just a couple of more batches probably uh, for giveaways and uh, we'll be done so yeah i think they're all coming on nice excellent so what else have we got this is not so good so We've got radish and turnips in here. These radish are starting to um, mature. Let's just go and have a look. Just rummage around a little bit. Yeah, they're not they're not too far off. Um, but the turnips in here, they got pretty badly eaten by uh, flea beetle. They've grown through it now, starting to get decent leaves on them. I don't think there'll be time. They've only got as I say, about three weeks, um, and then it'll be cleared. Still getting a few courgettes, just little ones now, but uh, yeah, still leaving the plant in, and still getting a few cucumbers actually. In fact, I should, I've been away on holiday, so I haven't been harvesting very much, but we've got like, loads of cucumbers still left on this plant. Um, and I've got another plant down there there's a few on there so yeah a few more weeks of cucumbers to be honest i am fed up with cucumbers now we've had them since may i've been eating them every day and uh, there's only so many cucumbers you can eat so i think that's it it's all going to look very different when i do the next tour
and in case you're wondering I did clear all these uh, surplus leaves off to uh, give the fruits a lot of light so hope you like this quick video my name's Steve this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon